Hey there, Wusud family. It's Ryan. So, recently I've been thinking about apologies. Not because I have to apologize, although quite frankly, I do it a lot because I tend to say and do a lot of stupid stuff. But there's an actor that I follow on the old Instagrams. He said some jokes and it didn't really take with his audience very well and uh, he caught a lot of flack for it and he made an apology. I don't think that his apology was particularly sincere and I'm not going to talk about his apology. I'm not going to deconstruct it. But in looking over what he said, I was reflecting on what I think makes for a good apology. And so I'm going to share some of my thoughts on that. First, your apology has to be unqualified. It has to be not attached to anything. It's not a I apologize but or I apologize and it's your the first step that you have to do when you make an apology, when you say you're sorry, is just apologize. Just say, I am sorry, and don't try to qualify it at all. All right, now, the first step always has to be to apologize. But the second thing to remember when you make your sincere, direct apology is that it can't come with reasons or explanations. Even though you're wanting to defend yourself, even though you want to soften the blow that's coming to you, even though you want to provide as much context as possible so that people understand why you said or did something stupid in the first place, I think that detracts from it and I think that weakens the apology. When you do that, it takes away some of the onus, it takes away some of the responsibility because the thing that you said or did was uh, a product of habit rather than something you decided to do. Make sure that you don't make any of your apology contingent on a reason or an explanation. Oh, hi there. Here's the third thing that's important. It's probably the most important part about making an apology. You have to acknowledge what it was you did wrong. You're not just apologizing to stop people from being angry at you. You're not just apologizing to stop people from giving you flack or grief. It's really important for you to connect what it was that you did that caused the harm and why. So it's not just, I feel sorry for the way you feel. It's, I'm sorry because I did this and it impacted you in this way. The key to an, a good apology or the key to understanding and starting the, the healing process is that you understand how it was that the thing you did or said is connected to the harm or an emotional state in the other person. Oh. Oh. Okay, so. As long as I don't fall off the elliptical. Now, the fourth thing to remember, you shouldn't make light of how other people reacted. And this was something that I saw with this actor in particular, that he posted this apology letter. Then if you go down in the comment section, when his fans were criticizing the initial reaction of, oh, people are just soft these days, he was giving them smiley faces, winky faces, saying, well, I can't comment on certain things. And that really shows a lack of sincerity on his part. And if you apologize, you shouldn't make light of how other people tend to react to things. So what's number five? Well, hang on. Okay, number five, you have to remember, you can't control how other people are going to react and you're gonna end up receiving a lot of negative blowback from this. People who are hurt, people who are offended, people who are indignant, people who are self-righteous. This is all a part of the healing process, this is all a part of what to expect. And so the, th the fifth thing you're gonna have to remember is that there are going to be consequences to what you said and did. There are going to be lingering emotions and lingering thoughts and lingering feelings that come out of it. You're just going to have to learn to weather it. You're just going to have to take your licks. You're not the victim. You're not really being bullied. It's important to remember that people are reacting to it and you're just going to have to have a thick skin and go through it. I mean, 
you said and did something stupid. You said and did something that brought harm to other people. You're just going to have to live with it. Anyways, Wusu family, those are some of my thoughts about what it means to give a good quality apology. Maybe I missed some stuff. I mean, I say and do a lot of stupid stuff, so obviously I haven't necessarily taken this all to heart. But if you know of anything that I missed here in terms of how to apologize, how to address it, how to deal with it, I'd love to know your thoughts and comments in the, the comments down below. But anyways, thanks for stopping by this week, and I hope that this video makes up for my lack of video last time. So, Wootsuit family, thanks for stopping by, and don't forget, stay awesome.